what's up guys this is jason welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you guys on how do you render your minecraft's skin in cinema 4d so you can get cinema 4d the link in the description um right here you can buy it um yeah so also you'll need two of this stuff which is the um uh steve rig and this minecraft form thread uh you want to go ahead and click free steve rig and then you just go ahead and download it. Um, here's the download. Just click that, and then you'll need the Lightning Kit Pro. So you can basically get this for free, but you can also buy. I bought it. So yeah, so you need two of this stuff, and you need Max and of course um, the Cinema 4D. So once you have all of those um, downloaded, um, you can go ahead and open up your Cinema 4D. Go to your content browser. Uh, you need to learn about Cinema 4D a bit, because I'm not going to explain everything, because this, this is pretty late, 11 a.m., sorry, so. Yeah, so let's go ahead and load up your um, Steve rig here, and load up the main. This should ask, I don't, there's nothing wrong with it. And go ahead and load up your grayscale gorilla thing, lightning case. Load up the soft box. Load up the overhead. So... Um, I guess you okay. So the way you need two of these is it makes your render or your Minecraft character um easier to see or HD more HD smooth and get more lightning than um the others. Um, so I'm gonna load up my skin. So to load up your skin, you wanna go down here and select the charred up PNG. Go to color. Click this button. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and find my skin here. Okay, Jason's skin. Load that up. And that must be a problem with this, so you, you just delete the eyes. And I'm just gonna move down my eyebrow to here a bit. And then, um, yeah. So this is just a skin render tutorial. Um, I'm not gonna show you everything. So, uh, once you, c you go down here, you click on the Steve. Uh, main here go to your user data and then you, you there will be lots of options like teeth smile eyebrow and things like that so I'm gonna make the right eyebrow up a bit and I'm just gonna make him a little bit small yeah I like the smile bro um the teeth size um you can make it that I don't care how you're gonna do it I'm just gonna go ahead and go to my eyebrow rotation. Um, I like being like mad because I like it. I'm just gonna move this thing up here a bit. You can also color it by clicking on your eyebrow. Go to um basic and turn on your color. So I'm just gonna make this color black. Okay. This should come up with black, but if it doesn't, uh, let's do automatic. It should come up, or maybe on or later. I don't have no idea what's wrong with this, but just make sure you order your your eyebrow and make it black. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I forgot how to do it, so let's do this. <laughs> This is making me or you should select the layer part. Oh maybe on Magic. Yeah, I don't care. But I'm just gonna display the color as automatic and then hit okay. Okay, never mind, but I just want it. Yeah. That's pretty weird. <laughs> so, yeah, there's few options by clicking on Steve main, and then you can just go down and then just change the options, have him a little small. But today, I'm just gonna go ahead and like. So, I'm gonna show you a few options in Cinema 4D. So, this is the move, um, <coughs> move button here where you can move around. Um, this is the zoom in and zoom out part, um, here, the, and this is the rotation part, where you can rotate, go around, do your shitty stuff, and this is, what is this, um, I have no idea what is this, but, 
just don't use this because um it's not useful in my opinion okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna okay now i'm back um i changed a few things right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go ahead and show you the few options um this is the move i thought I told you guys already this is zoom in and zoom out and rotate okay um you might learn these options by yourself okay so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna rotate this hand by using the um uh, this tool right here move tool i guess what's it's called and we're just gonna go ahead and select the his bottom arm um hand right here and then we can just move around this i think you guys might learn by yourself because uh, it's pretty hard to explain. Um, you'll need to learn about Cinema 4D. That's a tutorial on Cinema 4D. Go and watch it on YouTube. There's like 100,000 views. <laughs> Sorry. Oh shit. That was electric shot. Okay. There's 100,000 vi YouTube videos on how how you learn it. Just go and watch it. So I'm just going to go and bend this arm a bit here. By the way, this is just a render tutorial. It's not how to use Cinema CD rigs for it or whatever. So we're just gonna do like this. Um, uh, I think that's perfect though. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna move here. I'm just zoom in here a bit. I'm just gonna move up here. Zoom out a bit. Um, okay, it looks perfect. What you wanna do is wanna press this button like a movie and a settings button a picture it's called edit render settings open that up and it should come up make the width 1280 by 720 that's how i use it and you want to go down here to save make sure the format is png and make sure the n yeah that's it just make sure it's png and make sure you check alpha channel and then just X out this, and then as you guys can see, they'll it will automatically zoom out for you, zoom in for you. So you want to zoom out. Uh, so it's the way I want it to zoom out to make the picture perfect is because when you render, when you zoom in or about this much, it will render this much only. So if I zoom out like this, it will like this, it will render the whole picture that you want for it to render. So if you don't know what I mean, you'll see what to do. So you can go ahead and render by hitting Shift R. And if I zoom out here, it will render all of this. And I'll come back and I'll explain as much as I can. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back. Okay? So, see ya. Okay, and now I'm back. Uh, this is a picture of viewer. As you guys can see, it um, renders really perfect that you want. So, if I want to render, like, if you zoom in about this, what? Zoom in about this much, it will render this much. But if you zoom out about this much perfect it will render this much okay so you don't want it to render only this the the tie <laughs> you, want, you you don't want it to render that so that's not good so let's go ahead and open this up and once you're once it's fully rendered go ahead and go to file save as make sure the format is a png click ok by the way, if you save it as a PNG, there'll be no, there'll be a transparent background. So that means there'll be nothing at the background. That's, it will be only your uh, Steve rig or your character. So I'm just going to call this render tutorial. Sorry. Render on my desktop. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to go ahead and quit all of this. Um, and you should get this. So I'm just going to double click. Um, you should come up with a picture view thing. And yeah, so um, hope this tutorial helped. Um, but by the way, I'm gonna prove you there's no re yeah. So there's no white background. But if there's a white background or you did something wrong, you can edit in Photoshop. It's really easy. You open this up with Photoshop, select the magic one tool, click the white background, and hit delete because it's white. There's nothing like yeah, whatever. So hope this tutorial helped. Leave a like if it did. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.